everybody and welcome to a, another Camp Cretaceous video and in today's video we're going to be talking about a specific part of the um, new Camp Cretaceous Season 3 trailer which revealed an unknown building. Now if you haven't seen the trailer already, link of it for it will be in the description below and also so, I do want to point out that many people are theorizing that the building that we see the kids enter and we, that has the Monolophosaurus in, many people believe that to be the visitor center. I personally do not, as it does not um, match the, well, match the um, visitor center from what we've seen of it in the past. Sadly, I don't think it will be the visitor center, although maybe they'll um, make it as a different p separate part of the visitor center maybe but I still don't think that would make sense it would kind of um be a bit sloppy in my opinion but with that out of the way we're gonna talk about what I think this building actually is and that is the home of John Hammond himself now I know I know it seems crazy how could it be the home of John Hammond like we've never gotten to see one in any sort of form before well that's not actually true and there's plenty of evidence to suggest that it is and we're gonna go all over all the reasons why it possibly could be so the first um, bit of evidence that we could um, have for him having a home on for this being his home is because we know that in the novel that um john hammond had a home for well he had a bungalow on isla nublar aka jurassic park which was his house and while the novel is not counted as canon i know that it wouldn't be wrong for them to just say oh this is the home of john hammond he, he lived here during the construction of the first park which would honestly make sense. He would want to be around the dinosaurs as much as he can be. At least I would. But another thing is the design of it. From what we've seen, the design actually looks very similar to a to one of his other homes that we've seen. The one in the Lost World game, Trespasser. Now this is a um, soft cannon game that um, involves... Um, you as playing as this woman who's stuck on Issa Sorna, and you discover um, John Hammond's home. Now, the way that the home's entrance is, is compared to the one in the trailer looks very similar, and even the hallways, minus without it being as um, dirty and run down. But still, they do share a very similar look. And that's another thing, because we don't, we know that, um, if he had one on Isla Sorna, say that part is canon, then it would be 99% guaranteed that he would have one on the theme park island as well. But even if you don't count the novel or trespasser as um, reasons for it to be, there is one that, there is a bit of evidence inside the trailer itself. You see, when we see the Monolophosaurus, Kenji makes a statement that we shouldn't be here. This place, everybody knows this place is haunted. Now, from the design of the house, from what we've seen, it looks very much like a, ni a 19 some, in 1990s home, or 80s at, at the most. And the door for it actually looks very similar to the Jurassic Park doors for the visitor center. So judging from that and the line from Kenji, it's very likely that it is this, because after all, the world knows that John Hammond has passed away. And um, with it being run down and there being dinosaurs in it, it wouldn't be surprising for Kenji to say that this place was haunted. And also, an interesting thing is, it could actually be part of one of the guest um, areas, which is um, known as the um, Old Park which houses the visitor center and possibly this and much more including which actually i'm pretty sure for jurassic world it was a t one of the like tourist areas i'm not 100 sure on that but it could be and other than that there isn't too much evidence to say that it is 
But what do you guys think? Do you think that the mysterious building in the um, Camp Cretaceous Season 3 trailer could be the home of John Hammond? Or do you think it's something else? And if you don't think it is, and besides the um, visitor center, what other buildings do you think it could be? Could it be the home of Henry Wu? Or someone, or someone else? I don't know. Leave in the comments what you think this building is and your reasons why. But if you've enjoyed this um, small little theory video regarding the home of John Hammond, possibly, I'd appreciate the like. And if you want to join the hunt, hit the subscribe button. Be safe, and until the next Camp Cretaceous Theory video, I'll see you later. Bye bye